this is like turning into being one of my best local days ever i think i'm close to a thousand dollars in sales for locals in a day that's that's awesome what's up guys happy tuesday as you can see from the sides i just got a haircut <laughs> in my own warehouse it's the best part <laughs> uh with uh covid regulations in pennsylvania if you want to get a haircut in the public place you have to have a mask on and i got a beard and this beard needs to get maintained and trimmed and it is and you can't get it done in a public place so i am friends with uh with my hair cutting person and she always comes here to the warehouse to cut my hair so it's an awesome awesome little perk you don't have to go anywhere just comes here it's great um so got that done so i don't look like a mess anymore look like a decent human being it's about time <laughs> so uh it is now uh 10 30 in the morning um i got a lot of work to do today i had to pack what sold yesterday on ebay i need to start listing these guys i have a couple meetups actually surprisingly i think i took about 11 pictures yesterday in this staging room of different furniture that wasn't moving and like i told you guys earlier i can only list like three items a day on facebook so i listed three of them yesterday and i have potentially two meetups today already for those things i had somebody come at 2 p.m for that couch and i have coming somebody coming at 5 p.m for a dresser the dresser one looks like it's as good as sold the couch um the guy said he wants to come take a look at it inspect it and all that but he's coming on a pickup truck so if he likes it he's gonna just put in the truck and drive it away um it's a really good really good uh couch so i, I think he's gonna be happy with it it's like a really vintage Right here. It's like from like the 1920s or 30s. So for that age, it's in really good shape. It needs like a good little cleaning, but besides that, the legs are stable. Everything else is good. For its age, it's pretty good. I think he's gonna like it. So I have those things to take care of. Got a list of three more local items that I posted. And um, and and then I gotta finish off the little areas here to make it look uh, good. Like just pretty much just clean up this area right there. It's just pretty much empty bins, so it shouldn't take too long in these little areas over here. But yeah, a lot to do, so let me get to work. Okay, so I grabbed all the stuff that I uh, sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Surprisingly, I had a pretty decent day, close to average for me, uh, which is a lot better than what I had in the recent days. And I didn't post anything yesterday. I didn't post anything yesterday, so I'm surprised. But why I got the sales, I'm not gonna complain. I'm happy with that. I had seven sales on eBay. I had two on Poshmark, one on Akari. Well, it's 10. Wait, okay, so this is average. Oh, okay. I thought I had nine. Yeah, I can't count. Seven on eBay, two on Poshmark, one on Macari. Yeah, great. Very happy then. Um, so I have a bit of clothes that I sold uh, eBay and Poshmark here. I have a time and through, some Christmas pajamas and a warrior's hat. Those sold for under 20 bucks. That's all for clothes. Uh, the other thing I sold on Poshmark, it's actually a really big sale, is this right here, these set of six plates. Found them in a storage a unit. Due to Google Lens, I figured out what they were, and they sold for $100. These six plates right here. So I'm very, very happy with that. Just gotta pack them up with that and get them all safe. Then on Macari, I saw these right here. It's the Good Times, season one through four, a DVD set. These also came out of a storage unit, and I got $24 for these. So pretty decent sales on Poshmark and Mercari. Then on eBay, I sold this Black & Decker uh, Sawzall. Uh, uh, saw only, no battery, no blade. I got $38 for this. And then I sold this dish towel. This came out from the same pillowcase buy. I keep getting sales from that. It's very happy. I sold this for 20 bucks. Then I sold this Xfinity uh, router thing. It's called the XIDP. Um, just search that on uh, on eBay. Um, this came out of the free pick that I did last week, and it sold for twenty bucks in less than a week. Uh, these guys are always cool to sell, easy to sell, easy to ship. 
Um, I find them almost in every storage unit as well. So this sold for 20 bucks. And I had a couple of pallet sales, which is nice to see. I saw these uh, Yankee koozies. They came out of the pallets. I got 15 bucks for this. And I sold this uh, forever book. I came out of pallets as well. I got 20 bucks for that. I believe that is all. Uh, yeah, so very happy with the sales today. Let me pack them up, get them out the door. So I just started packing these items. I got the DVDs in here and um, this is, I guess, a learning experience for me, but I had no clue that uh, USPS.com or Pirate Ship does not offer any media mail rates. Um, this is the first time I've shipped media mail that it wasn't on eBay. Um, so I went to Pirate Ship. This is because pretty much every time I sell on Macari, I ship through Pirate Ship because it's cheaper than Macari shipping. Now I get more sales on Macari. I went through Pirate Ship and there was no media mail rate. And uh, the DVDs weigh like two pounds, two pounds, four ounces, which with priority mail, because it was going to California, it was like over $10. But with media mail, it been like $3.80. Uh, so uh, it wasn't on Pirate Ship. So I went to USPS.com, put all the information. And the only options they gave me there was also priority mail. And I was like, what's going on? Uh, I Googled it, took some searching, but I figured out um, you can send, uh, I figured out that the only place it looks like you can do a media mail label is through PayPal. So you log into your PayPal account, create a label that way, and uh, it does it. So I did that, cost me like $3.86, got the label, and um, did it. If anybody knows any other ways uh, to ship media mail that's not through eBay, um, let me know. That's the, only one, that's the only one I figured out. Um, I'm gonna be making a YouTube video about this because I don't think there's anyone that talks about this. It's a pretty big deal. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, go to, uh, so if you want to make a media mail label and you're not shipping it through eBay, uh, PayPal, and then click on shipping and then create new label, put all the info in and then boom. You're welcome. Very eventful, very good local day today. It's 2 p.m. now. I packed everything that sold on eBay. Um, I met with somebody for a TV that I had there. It sold. I met with somebody for this couch over here. It sold. I met someone with a dresser over there. That sold. Uh, stage room feels like it's working. Uh, and another sign of it right now is I sold, I listed these two um south whatever brand is <laughs> south something southwood these two awesome southwood armchairs i was just surprised that they're so gorgeous and they weren't moving i didn't know why I listed them this morning now because i took pictures yesterday uh in the staging room and what i do with the staging photos i say everything else in the picture is also for sale and uh, a guy on this room today, uh, like an hour after I posted it saying, hey, I want the chairs, I want the rug, and I want the side table. <laughs> so I got the chairs, did this side table, this rug. Uh, I was selling the chairs for 100, I said uh, 150 for everything. And he said sold, and he's meeting with me in an hour. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's just like, when you have like an idea in your head and you're like, is this gonna work? Is this not gonna work? Am I stupid for doing this? Like, I had all these thoughts and like, do, it, is it worth me spending this extra time to stage this room to make it look pretty? And it seems like from first hand, yes. Um, that dresser uh, that sold today, I've had since my old, old warehouse. I've had that dresser here for like, a year, I would have given it to Goodwill if I didn't know that I it, I still was back there. I was just uncluttering all the stuff. I'm like, oh wow, this dresser is here. Sold in less than a day. That sofa I had for about six months, sold in less than a day. Those chairs I had for about eight months, sold in less than a day. Well, sold. Knock on wood. <laughs> well, so, because I still have to meet the guy. But he looked, he looked like he was very optimistic in buying it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, very, very excited. I, I still have two listings to post today, so I'll probably post more of those um, staging pictures and see what, um, what I can get from there. But very, very, very happy so far with what's going on.
think the characters are ready to be posted there. So I'll probably uh, do this today, take this to the room, uh, make it look pretty, stage it, and uh, hopefully sell it. So yeah, let me get okay. to work. So I'm back from that meeting. Uh, the rug is gone, the table is gone, uh, the chairs are gone. Insane, insane local day so far. I still have a guy coming at 5 p.m. in two hours for that ladder as well and then maybe something else will show up uh so yeah that's that's awesome uh, so i'm gonna take these in there now grab get those staged get those shot and then the spot here that was taken out by that sofa and chairs earlier is a big empty spot now i'm gonna put these guys on there and after these two guys are gone and stored away i might have a big empty space here in the middle uh, which will be used probably pretty soon because I'm going to be buying more uh, storage units now since I'm pretty much done with the move. Um, I'm going to be buying more storage units which I'm going to get more stuff and the cycle will continue. So yeah, let me get these guys staged. Okay, got it all measured, pictured, posted. I think I'm going to do this one today as well. This old rocking chair. Now look at all of this empty space that I have. That's a lot. I have like 500 plus square feet of empty space right now that I can use to fill up. Very, very excited about that. Okay, so I think I'm done with local postings. I'm gonna do a little cleanup here and then, but I need to start posting on eBay. Let me get cracking on that. So the excellent day uh, continues. Um, the person who is grabbing the ladder actually postponed tomorrow, so I didn't sell that. But then I had some bar stools here that I sold and I sold these guys <laughs> in like an hour. I was uh, shocked, um, had somebody stop by. We're gonna take a look at this and um, she likes it. <laughs> she brought her whole family over, it's kind of funny. Uh, she brought her whole family over. Uh, she liked it, she paid it to me but she wants it delivered tomorrow because she has to get rid of her old stuff first. But I already got paid for it. <laughs> And then like uh, her kids were here, they were shopping around. So they bought like a, a table lamp for me. They bought uh, a couple of artworks for me <laughs> as well. So uh, they were a lot of uh, bundles today, man. This is like turning into being one of my best local days ever. I think I'm close to a thousand dollars in sales for locals in a day. That's, that's awesome. That's like, my mortgage payment for the warehouse <laughs> in one day. I'll, I'll definitely take it. We had the blue sofa sold for 250. The armchairs bundle sold for 150. That's 400. The TV was 100. It's 500. The dresser was 50. The bar stools were 50. At 600. This was 150, which is 750. And then the rest of the stuff they bought was also 50 bucks. That's 800. <laughs> $800 in one local sales is, is pretty good. I may have a bigger sales day in the past with more money, but just this one was such a good value and so many items and so many big items leaving. <laughs> like I sold, uh, I'm gonna have two couches leave, a third couch leave, two armchairs leave, a uh, dresser leave. That's a lot of room. Uh, and they're buying extra stuff on top of it, which is awesome. Like an extra rug, extra art. <laughs> extra side tables, uh, extra lamps. <laughs> so that's pretty, pretty incredible. I'm very, uh, very happy with that. And it's still only 7 p.m. So <laughs> I could get more messages and phone calls about something else and they want to come tonight to me, <laughs> grab it as well. So um, we are very, very happy so far. Um, it's safe to say, uh, I think it's safe to say right now that the staging room was a good idea and it is worth it putting the extra effort in to make the pictures look nice that they can be sold. Uh, what I did to him, I go today, I, I started listing these uh, little train tracks right there. And I still have that much left to list right there. I have all the track. I have the little extra pieces left to list and some little extenders and all that. All I've listed so far, guys, pretty much individually, all of these things like Something as small as this sells for like over 20 bucks. It's insane. I'll list it all these separately. And I'll list the special track separately. Like, guys, this piece sells for $10. This piece sells for $10. The 
these guys sell for like $18. It is insane. I already hit my goal for the day. I think I'm over like around $300 on listings just for those guys and that little track. And there probably could be more still to be made here because I'm not done researching it yet. But I am blown away at how expensive this stuff is. Like I said, I'm already at $300 listed and I still have all that left to go. If you see um, either Imaginarium or Thomas the Train, it's pretty much the same thing. If you see that stuff at yard sales or Goodwill, even if it's incomplete, pick it up. It's a lot of money there. There is a lot of money there. I have no clue <laughs> until now this was this pricey. Um, this came out of a storage unit that I paid uh, 40 bucks for, by the way. <laughs> so uh, uh, $40 from a storage unit and I already have $300 listings plus all of that. I think I'm gonna be done listing for the day. I said I hit my goal. I'm gonna do more research on that and list the rest of it tomorrow. Probably make lots of it and stuff and sell it that way. But I, so I'm blown away at how good that stuff is. I also have all the trains. I have tons of trains that go on. They're like magnetic trains. Like, man, if I had this as a kid, I probably would love it. They're like little train carts like this, and they have magnets on both sides. You click it on like this, and then you're good to go. And you go under all these things, and you go around all these things, and you just have fun all day. That's what so I would have a. I would have a blast if I was a kid. I had that, <laughs> but yeah, now it's going to be it for me. <laughs> I'm done listening for a day. I am going to go to, uh, to Goodwill, drop all that stuff off, call it a night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.